Saba is the second in command of the Revolutionary Army, meaning that he is second the dragon in terms of strength and who he answers to. ASL consists of Ace, Saba, Luffy, who are brothers whose chemistry knows no bounds. I'm currently on the Dress Rose art, and we got reintroduced to Saba, where Koala makes a few references. Does she think that it'll be much of a difference if uh, he were at Marineford? And let me not say this: I'm rewatching One Piece. I've already, I'm already caught up. I know what's going on in One all that stuff. But if his memory is still intact, I truly believe Saba would have went to Marineford at any cost. But what effect would he really have? My name is Potential Unleashed, and here is how much an effect I believe Saba would have had at Marine Ford. So first, who is Sabo? So Sabo is the son of Outlook 3, making him the son of a noble. He had no Ace and Luffy since he was a kid and being a close second to Ace in terms of strength. And we believe Sabo to be dead after the Celestial Dragon shot his boat only to be saved by the Revolutionary Dragon. And that's where he lived and he trained. So let's talk about how strong Sabo is. He's the second in the Revolutionary Army, like I said in the intro, answering to only Dragon, and that makes him first commander of the entire army. His bounty is only 602 million, but I honestly think that's a diss to him. I believe his bounty should be around the level of Queens, like 1.2, 1 to about 1.4, because I think he can defeat Katakuri mid diff, he can beat Luffy high diff, and He's probably on the level of King, so I'd say he beats King Extreme Diff. So Sabo is in the mid first commander tier. He trained under Dragon, Hack, Kuma, and Ivan, and well, Ivan Kov, where his Dragon Claw and different Dragon attacks were already strong and fused with his hockey. Then we have him gaining Ace's Mera Mera Fruit. So having him be that strong, and then he gets one of the strongest Logia Devil Fruits too. After the Logia fruit, he defeats Burgess easily and he clashes with an admiral in Fujitora. Even though post time skip Sabo is this strong, he's probably not going to be this strong uh, two years ago at Marine Ford. He probably had some use of hockey, but we know it wasn't at the level that it is now. I'd say he would be around third commander level, maybe low second at Marine Ford. So, what would him being at Marine for? what would that actually do? Honestly, Ace would have still died because Oda already guaranteed his death there in the beginning of One Piece. But if it wasn't for like the plot and we legit had a le why did I say we like I'm there? If they had a legit shot of saving Ace, what impact would Sabo have? He can't beat an Admiral at that time at Marine for it because... Well, he could only clash with Fujitora post time skip, so back then he wouldn't do anything. And I'd say he, he could beat any of the vice admirals that were there, except for probably Garp. And the only warlord I believe Sabo wouldn't be able to defeat would be Mihawk, but of course that's because he's on Yonko level. He's probably at that time on the level of Doflamingo and Kuma. Um, and so I'd say Sabo. At Marine Ford, I'd say he'd get the Navy more losses and he'd wreak just he'd just wreak havoc just like Luffy did. Now when Ace was freed, how would their fighting be different? When Ace free was freed uh, by Luffy, their coordination was unstoppable at the time when they fought together, to where characters stated that you could tell that they're brothers because of how well they fight together. And if Sabo was there, their coordination would be even better because of how they fought as kids. And I kind of wish I got to see adult ASL anime. That'd be pretty cool. But in conclusion, if Sabo was at Marine Ford, he wouldn't be able to save Ace because he wasn't as strong as he is post time skip as anybody is in the One Piece series. He'd also only be at third or second commander, giving the Navy heavy losses while. The coordination at ASL trio would be amazing and ultimately wouldn't be enough to save Porteous D Ace. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. It's a pretty quick one. Got it up on Tuesday, alright? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys think you guys agree with me or how much of an impact do you really think Sabo would have if he was at Marine Ford. I don't think he had a big one as you guys would have seen in my video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a video. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They'll be in the description below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to unleash your potential.